Oh, hey, welcome back. Just tighten up a few things here, and then we'll get started. So I got a lot of stuff going on in the garage tonight. Um, probably more than I would like to because I would like to go out and just take a quick little ride tomorrow, which I'll take some video of that and then post that for the first ride of the season. Um, animal here is pretty set and almost ready to go as far as cleaning. Just a couple of touch up things on the bottom. Uh, down here I have this plate where I'm fixing that plastic. So I'm just gonna drill in where I have all the metal pre-drilled, but I'm just gonna pre uh, drill in here and get a couple of these set so that's good to go. This hole right here that was caused from the belt blowing last year, uh, I'll figure out something to rig up with that, but I'm not gonna get that all done today. Um, that should be fine tomorrow. I'm not gonna ride that hard. Probably just do some ditches around here um and then i got some bolts in the mail or screws in the mail for right here so i'm going to replace these with two new ones um they had some surface rust on the old ones so i'll just keep those as spares and after that get all the plastic on and that's sitting right over here get all this on and buttoned up and then good to go for tomorrow so that's what i got going on tonight get over here Match it up. Oh, yeah. Because I realized that that wasn't a broken piece of metal. That corner right there, I got to shave that down a little bit. So I'm going to clamp that. <clears throat> Let's see. Just get it here. That. All right, so I figured out that uh, my drill wasn't gonna be able to get in there without it creeping down on the plastic uh, as it's spinning and rotating. So to get my hole preset and then I can drill from the bottom, I'm gonna take just a pair of these vice grips and then heat it up here with this torch, get it red hot, and we should be able to poke through this plastic and get us a pilot hole. And right through, we're in there. Now I can drill up from the bottom and uh, get my holes for my rivet set and do that. There it is. Okay, we got uh, our nails sticking out here, holding in the uh, aluminum plate up here. So I'm gonna just drill some of these that I have just tapped out. We get the right angle. <clears throat> oh, if only I had a jack. So that's what I was worried about. But I do have a solution that can make this work. Take this off. Got one of these flex shafts. It's not ideal, but. Right there. Now we'll put this on. Let's see if we can just. Uh, 
We don't need too much. Success. Back it out. Now I'll just repeat that process for all of them and I'll hold the rivets here, get I'll get these two in and then I'll just push all these out and then just keep it going through them. All right, we'll get this locked and loaded. I got these grip fast alumin aluminum rivets, eighth inch. Uh, that should hopefully be enough. I'm gonna get them set in and I got white too since the bottom panel's white. Um, just realized that I have some more, uh, larger fasteners down here that I need to buff out and clean up. And I should probably clean up my belly pan, but we'll deal with that at another time. Um, so I already do have one loaded up. Now we're going to go through this hole here. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're up in. Secure the top. Figure out which one I'm in. I'm in the first. So, there we go. I can feel it pushed in. That's not where I want it though. Push down. That's more like it. Uh oh, it's wanting to pop out. So that's not good. I'm open. So unfortunately, I don't think these are gonna work. Uh, I don't have it tightened too much. No, we'll just be able to push that out, I think. There we go, hold on. So that wasn't long enough. We're gonna have to go with a larger, uh, I mean longer rivet, not larger diameter. So I'll go grab that and we'll start again. All right, so I'm gonna go with a little longer one now. As you can see there, I don't know where the focus is. Um, but these are eighth inch still, but they are quarter inch on the length. This is an eight by eight. And unfortunately, they're still aluminum, but they're not white. So, I guess a little more work on the other end. <laughs> I was kind of worried that these would, uh, they would do that. But that went through a lot better. Now I got this pretty, let's see, pretty flush. I want to get my metal pushed all the way down up here, which I am doing. And these, you should just be able to pump these until it breaks, like that. 
Now, there we go. And if we come up here and look in here, there is the is this top of the river right there. And oh yeah, that's holding, holding nice. So I'll just repeat it here, 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 all the way along till we're done. All right, we got them all in. <laughs> Had a little issues with uh, this one here in the corner. Uh, I just put a new one in right there. Called it good and uh, I think we're all set. So that should hold.